This is uh, Larry Snyder, and we're going to go a little bit about Clever, but before that, I wanted to talk a little bit about that we have two accounts in the system. Now, to get to Clever, to get to our email, we go to my.yc.net. I'm going to click Enter, and there's going to be a screen. Hopefully, it'll become very familiar with you very quickly. As I go in, notice I have my Outlook. That's our email that we have in the system. This is what we use. Uh, we have two different accounts. We have a Microsoft account, and we have a Google account. Our email is Outlook. And I want you to notice, when I'm in this screen, I have access to the Microsoft side, because Outlook comes with Office 365. Now, to get to your Office 365 apps, notice the apps launcher on the top left corner of that screen. When I go click into it, notice I have my apps. I have Outlook, Word, OneNote, Excel. So there's many different apps that we have. Notice also that I have my Google account here. But let's talk a little bit about Clever. Now, when I click on Clever, this takes me in. And it's going to ask you to log in with Active Directory. So I click on Log in with Active Directory. Now, this you might not see the same way because I'm at the district level. But I'm going to click on District Admin. And this is Clever. Uh, Notice how I have my online textbooks and testing. I have my Google section that I have here, and I have online resources. Mine might look a little bit different than what you have, depending on if I'm at a high school, middle school, or elementary. Uh, people that have access to Clever are students and our classroom teachers, and teachers that have students assigned to them. We might have a few of us that are SPED teachers that might not have access to Clever because we don't have a student that's assigned to us. Hopefully that will change in the future. And this is Clever. Thank you very much.